Janet Minerva. I hope you're all having a super week and today I've got a fabulous project to share with you. We're going to do a sew along for this wonderful simplicity pattern and it's this jiffy dress and I just love this. So here you can see in the top of the pattern the vintage styling there of the original pattern packet. And here we've got the reversible dress in the main fabric here, red. Well, I say main fabric, they're both main fabrics really, aren't they? Because you can wear it either way. And here she's showing the reverse side by opening up the dress. And here we have it flipped round completely to give a whole new look. So I think this is just a wonderful project to make and you can have such fun choosing your fabrics for this today. So it's going to be a sew along. And now let's have a look at the wonderful fabrics that we'll be using today. So we have our two fabrics here that we're going to be using today. And first up we have this beautiful, vibrant Animal Glow Minerva exclusive range Viscose Chalet. Uh, and it's 150 centimetres wide and it's 100% viscose. Beautiful flow and drape to this. So this is number one and then we have a, a lovely solid plain black. This is from the Minerva Core range. Again it's a chalet, it is 140 centimetres wide but this one is available in 68 colours should you wish to choose something different. So you could pick out one of the other colours in this one or you could have entirely different colours, it's up to you. So I think those are going to look fabulous together. Let's have a closer look at our pattern here. So here we have the main dress. The wrap goes over the top and ties. And if we flip it over, we can see these are the pieces. So a simple shape. And there are no zips or buttons by way of tying this. So I think this would be really good for a beginner also. Now should you wish to sew along with me today, everything will be linked in a bundle below. So all you have to do is click on that link and you're ready to get started. So you will receive the simplicity pattern, the Visco Chalet in Animal Glow, The Chalet in Plain Black from the Minerva Core range. Or should you wish, you might want to choose something different. You might want to pick another colour from the Animal Glow to go with that. Have a little look, you can play around with your options should you wish. You'll receive a matching thread and some ribbon. Now, it's great if you join the Minerva Craft Club because with the Minerva Craft Club, you get 10% off everything for a whole year. And that will include anything that you buy today. And it's also a good idea to create a free account. So with a free account, you can connect with our wonderful sewing community here at Minerva, connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world, share all your projects, notions and ideas, you can read other people's posts, gain inspiration. It's just a fabulous way to share your sewing hobby and it's all completely free. And I have lots of fun posting on there myself and getting ideas for future makes from what other people are making. So it's all really good fun, so why not go and do that now? Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to cut our pattern pieces. But first of all, take your fabric and you need to prep it. So wash and prepare as you would normally. Make sure it's dry and give it a good press. So if you normally tumble dry, do that now or line dry, whichever is your preference. When it's all ready, we're going to take our pattern and you also want to measure yourself. So please check your sizing with the sizing on the back because sizing can vary and we shouldn't just go for standard dress sizes because these can vary by quite a bit also. When you've done that, and you've checked your sizing and you're happy, we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces. So let's do that together now. So here we have our pieces for our dress. 
And first of all, we've got the front and side back and you're going to cut one piece on the fold of fabric and then you're going to cut another piece on the fold of your contrast fabric. So here I have my animal glow and here I have my plain black shall I? So when you've done that, you want to mark in your notches, your circles here and here and this dart. And here we have the hemline. Here we have the back side and front. Again, you're going to cut one on the fold of your main fabric. Then you're going to cut another one on the fold of your contrast fabric. So the fold is here. Make a note of the notches and the circles. And there is my hemline. Everything's moved around a bit because there's so many layers. <laughs> Then we have our tie end, so you're going to cut two in your main fabric and two in your contrast fabric. And this is the grain line. Make a note of these circles here. So now we're going to start making our dress. And first of all, you want to change your machine needle, make sure it's sharp and always check it. I'm using a universal needle size 70 today on this fabric. You might want to test it on a piece of uh, scrap fabric. Then when you've done that, you're going to take your back pieces and your front pieces and on the neck edge here, we're going to do some stay stitching. So this stays in place. We don't unpick it. It's just to keep everything stable later on. And we're going to do this 1.3 centimetres away from the neck edge here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do it on each piece. So remember, we've got our contrast pieces and we've got our plain pieces. So you've got two pieces for the front and side and two pieces for the back and side. So we're going to do it on all of those. contrast fabric as well. So next we're going to make our darts in our front and side pieces. So what I've done is I've taken my um, pattern piece and I've placed it on again because I just felt that it had moved a little so you might want to do the same. So I've placed it on the top and I've also marked with pins because I found it was quite hard to see with chalk. So that's what I've done. So I'll show you here. So here it is, so I've marked with orange pins so hopefully you can see nice and clearly. And I put my pattern piece on top again and remade the markings because I just felt they weren't in quite the right place. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pinch our markings together at the side like this. So right sides are coming together, and we're doing this from the wrong side. And then you want these two here to pinch together also. And then we're working to this point. Now you want to come off at a gradual point, don't make it too sharp or sudden because you will get a bubble. So let's do that now. So we're pinching it together right up to here and then from here we're going off at the point. So leave those threads running free and now we're going to knot them. Repeat that on the other side and then you're also going to do that on your plain colour. So when you stitch your darts in place you want to press them. So first of all press them flat. So press them as they are stitched like this on the dart and that's to set the stitches and then you're going to press it downwards nice and flat. 
do that on all your darts then you're going to cut four pieces of your ribbon so they want each one to be 46 centimeters long and when you've done that you're going to place them at your circles on your front and side panels so I'll show you that now so here are your markings and then you want to take your ribbon and you're going to place it on your markings like this you might want to put a little pin in to keep it in place I'm trying to use orange ones today so it shows up nicely on this dark fabric Oops. and then we're going to baste it there at the edge I'm going to move that up a little bit it needs to be up to the edge well, I've done mine quite right there have I so baste those in position now on both sides of your dress panel I'm just going to sew straight down to them Now you're going to pin your two dress panels together so the front and side and the contrast fabric and the plain fabric together with right sides facing so you've got your darts here facing you and the two right sides of the fabric are facing each other. Now I've tried to use brightly coloured pins so you can see clearly so if you pin it first you're going to stitch around the neck around the armholes, down the side, along the bottom, but when you come up the other side, you're going to want to leave an opening here. And this is so that you can pull your dress through. So we're going to do that now, and then we're going to give it a press. Also, press under 1.5 on your shoulder edge, seam allowance, and then you're going to trim it to one centimetre. It's a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. You need to take care when you arrive at your ribbons, which will now be enclosed on the inside, not to catch them in. So on the side that you've left open now, you're going to pull it through. You can have a little trim and notch around your curves before you do that. And then pull everything through. It doesn't have to be too big a hole. It is um, quite light fabric, so it will fit through. And you might need to poke through in places, such as on your shoulders to get it all nice and neat before you press it. Now stitch close your opening where you pulled your dress panels through. Now I'm stitching mine by hand so if you've pressed under the seam this just makes it a little easier and I'd just rather do it by hand because then it's invisible. So I'm just catching it just inside like straight through the same stitch and then catching inside where I've made that seam where I've pressed it under and this way you shouldn't be able to see my stitches. Now you're going to take two of your tie ends so one of them in one colour and one in the other colour and you're going to stitch these together I've not cut this very accurately though <laughs> with a one centimetre seam allowance you're going to leave this end here with the two circular openings you're going to leave that open so you've got these two circle marks here and here leave that end open because you're going to pull through there so it all the way around now you're going to take your ties and place them on your markings on your dress so I've got it like this because that's the 
way it would pull round matching that fabric so I've got it that way there are my markings just there I'm going to pin that on that side so this is your raw edge of your tie band I'm going to pin it on that side now we're going to pin our other dress panel with right sides facing now if you want to you can pin your belt pieces with a safety pin in the middle to keep them out of the way so that you don't catch them when you're sewing your lining piece on So I'm going to pin that all the way around first. Press under your 1.5 centimetre seam allowance on the shoulder again and then trim it to one centimetre like you did on your other pieces. Pin it around the shoulder and around the neck and down the sides and bottom leaving one opening at one side. We're going to stitch this in place now. <laughs> that side hole up again again I'm uh, hand stitching mine you can machine stitch it if you wish it's just I prefer to do it this way now you're going to bring your right sides together and you're going to join these shoulders now we've already pressed a seam marking here it might be hard to see if you've been pressing all of it down now to the lining but move this plain piece out of the way you're going to stitch machine stitch this shoulder seam here on the patterned fabric so let's pin that first you're going to stitch it in that seam line that you press so do that on both sides so we're folding that black out of the way So here's where we will machine stitch then when you've done that we will be able to hand stitch by turning it under the black here just be careful you're not catching any of this in on the other side just take your time with this bit <laughs> also trim that as well to get rid of some of that bulk again turn the inner seam in and I want to just put a few pins to keep that in place while you arrange it all So you have pressed it already so you've already got that line marking there look it's just manipulating it with your fingers to get it all back in place so here it is one way around It ties just under here, just under the bust, and with ribbons at the back on the underneath part. So I'll flip it round and show you the other way. I think maybe I just need to be a little bit more accurate with my pressing here because you can still see a flash of that other fabric showing when it's on the black. But I suppose you're going to get that anyway because it's underneath, isn't it? I just need to press my shoulders but I think that's a really pretty dress and a really lovely idea that you can turn it round and have something completely different well I hope you enjoyed that today I really had fun making this dress and I hope you did too so have you sewn this pattern before 
Please let us know in the comments. We always love to know what you've been making and please include any photographs. We love to see them. I think this particular dress would be fabulous for a Christmas party because what you could do is you could wear it with the plain side during the daytime at work and then when you go to get changed you just flip it round and you could have something fabulous and Christmassy or glitzy on the other side and I think that would be just brilliant. But there's so many fabrics that you can choose from and play around with to make this dress again and again. And it's a really nifty idea, isn't it? I love it. So, if you want to hear more from Minerva, like and follow and you'll get more video content like this every week. And I hope to be back soon with another sew along. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.